What's up, everybody? It's Johnny, back with another week of Bible study here for us. Uh, we've been going through a series called Am I Saved? Um, so to, to recap a little bit, we've been talking about, like, how do I know that I know that I know that I'm saved? How do I know that I'm saved? Uh, this week, uh, we're going to be we're going to be talking about faith and belief and how that plays in uh, to uh, our salvation. And so uh, last week we talked about the gospel message and this week uh, we're going to talk about how you must believe in Jesus and how you must place your faith in Jesus. And so to start out, uh, we're going to look at uh, the book of John chapter 3 verse 16, which you probably have this passage memorized, but it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Um, so what's interesting about this is, is that word belief. Uh, that's the key word, right? So whoever believes in him, Jesus, shall not perish, but have eternal life. Uh, so the word believe, uh, it means uh, to accept as true. So belief is what you accept as true. Uh, truth, truth is concrete. Um, truth is fact. And belief is what you accept to be true and what you accept uh, to be fact. And so for Christians, Christians accept that Jesus is true, that the Bible is true, uh, that we believe, uh, so we believe that Jesus is God. Uh, we believe that Jesus died on a cross to pay for our sin and that Jesus rose from the dead. Uh, so Christians receive or accept this to be true. Uh, so we, we think it's fact. Uh, we believe that it's fact. That is what we believe. Okay, so um, this knowledge that we have actually isn't enough to save you. Um, in James 2.19, it says, even the demons believe that there is one God and they shudder or tremble. So Knowing that Jesus is God isn't enough to save you. That isn't saving faith. Um, even approval of that fact that Jesus is God isn't enough. Uh, in John chapter 3, uh, there's this Jewish teacher. Um, he, he taught the biblical law to the people. His name is Nicodemus. And he said to Jesus, We know that you are a teacher from God because no one can do the signs that you do unless God is with him. So even for Nicodemus, he knew that Jesus was from God, and he acknowledged that truth, but that did not save him. Um, so you might acknowledge uh, the truth, like, yeah, Jesus was a good person, he died, he even maybe rose again. You know, you may acknowledge that, you may uh, understand that to be uh, truth, but that doesn't mean that you are saved. Uh, you may believe in Alexander the Great, as an example, that he existed, and you know that he did great things to expand the Greek Empire, right? Um, but you, that doesn't mean that you have a personal trust in him uh, to do anything for you. Like, you don't depend on him for anything today, right? But you still believe, you still know that he existed. Um, and that he did good stuff, right? So just knowing truth, or even just acknowledging or approving truth as true, but not trusting or depending on it, doesn't save you. So in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 through 30, uh, Jesus says, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So this is what faith is, okay? This is, this is belief that saves. Faith is a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. So when Jesus says, come to me, he's saying, you have to come to me. There is no other way, right? Having faith in Jesus is coming to Jesus. It's resting in him. It's trusting that his death paid for your mistakes, for my mistakes. 
Faith in Christ means that you trust the power that raised Jesus from the dead will also raise you to new life. And that affects how you live your life today, not just, you know, in the future sometime, you know, when you die that you will have new life. But today it impacts how you live because you trust in that personally. So saving faith is this. Saving faith is a personal trust in Jesus Christ as a living person for forgiveness of sin and eternal life with God. Uh, there's another passage here. John chapter 1, verses 9 through 12. I want to illustrate this with this passage here. Okay, so it says, The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He, Jesus, he was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those he, who believed in his name, there's that word again, believed, those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So truth came into the world. That's Jesus, right? The world didn't recognize or accept him as truth. They didn't place their faith in him. And because of that, they're unsaved because they don't believe in the truth. Um, for those who do believe, who do receive the truth, who do receive Jesus, who put their faith in him, they depend on him, they trust in him to save them from their sins, to forgive them of their sins, and to give them new life and raise them back to life, they have the right to become children of God. They are saved. So this, this idea of faith and belief, saving faith, saving belief, is, is a personal trust. It's not just knowledge of or acknowledgement of fact. It's a personal trust that you depend on for your forgiveness, for your life, today and forever. Um, so my, my challenge to you is this. Where are you at with this information, okay? So, do you believe in Jesus? Do you put your faith in Jesus? Do you personally trust Jesus for forgiveness and for eternal life? Think about those questions. Go back through, look up these passages, read them, understand them, and then think about this. Do I believe in Jesus? Did he exist? Is he God's son? Did he die on the cross? Does his death pay for my, my sin? And, and if he did die, then did he raise from the dead? Did he come back to life? And if he did, then does that power that he has uh, apply to me? And can that take me from death to life? Do you personally trust Jesus for forgiveness of your sin? Do you personally trust Jesus? Do you depend on him for eternal life? And does that, is that reflected in your life today? That's the questions that you've got to answer to know, am I saved?